Production Professor here. Lighting software can be a pain to use, and programming sometimes has a steep learning curve, especially if you're coming from another piece of lighting software, but most especially if you haven't used lighting software at all in the past. Let's take a moment, check out Show Express, and I'll teach you how to create a scene step-by-step step, and then add it to your live tab for your people to use at your church or event. Let's take a look. So here's Show Express. Uh, right here, you're working at the live tab, and now these buttons here are what we're going to use to make a scene happen in real time during a show or during an event. Uh, but this is what we want to create. I want to show you how to create a scene and then make a button for it on this page right here. So let's go ahead and get looking at that. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off DMX for the live screen. We want to make sure that this anything that's highlighted here is not sending DMX. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now let's head over to the editor. All right, so once you're in the editor screen here, you're going to see all of your lighting fixtures that you've previously programmed. Now, keep in mind, this video is assuming that you have your fixtures already connected via DMX and you already have them patched into the software. This video is going to talk about how to use your existing fixtures, create a lighting look or a lighting scene, and then save that to a preset on the live tab. So what you want to do here is let's go ahead and select the fixtures that we would like to program. So let's say I want to go ahead and program these color bands that I have against the back wall. I'm going to select them this way in order to select all the fixtures. So I have all three of them selected. Now down here I can see the different DMX channels for each fixture. Each fixture is delineated right up here at the top. So you can see that I have all three fixtures available for usage right now. Now with these color bands, they have three red LED groups, three green LED groups, and three blue LED groups. And so I'm going to adjust the red on one of the LED groups. You'll see that it adjusts for all three selected fixtures the same way. So I'm going to go ahead and take all three red groups and bring them up all the way. And so now I should have lighting, some red light on the back. But whenever I look over here, I have nothing. Well, why is that? Well, it's easy. We just need to check our DMX here. Right now, this live, this editor screen is not sending any DMX. So we're going to click that, and now it's going to send DMX. So now we look over here, and we still don't have anything. Well, the answer is because even though we have our red DMX faders up, we still don't have the master dimmer up, which is this final one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that up now. And so as I've done that, now you can see we have red lighting on the back wall. So let's go ahead and move on to another fixture. Let's say that I want um, our front wash to be lit. Let's say we want to light up the whole stage. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. I'm going to use my mouse, but you can also control select to get all of these at the same time. And I'm just going to go ahead and show one for now. So on this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and get the elements that I need, the DMX channels that I need. So I'm going to turn the master fader up. I'm going to get, let's say we want amber light in this position, and I'm going to go ahead and do that for all of these. I could select them, but I'm only, I only have one hand right now because I'm holding my camera. All right, so now I have all three of these lights with the amber LED at 255 at max. And so you can see that reflecting right here on stage. All right, let's get a couple other things in here. Uh, let's say we want the... Uh, Let's see these side LEDs uh, to reflect. So I'm going to go ahead and get those up. Let's do a blue color. The red and the blue will make kind of a purple look. So I'm going to do that for both of these that I have. So blue, bring the dimmer up. And so now you can start to see the blue accents up here. All right, so not exactly the look I would want, but, you know, we're here for the uh, process of saving and using buttons. So let's say that this is exactly what I'm looking for for my scene. Here's what I need to do. So right here, you can see that I am currently making a new scene. It says that right on the title bar. But let's assume that I'm not. Let's assume that I have taken an existing scene and I'm editing it. Well, what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm choosing correctly. Do I want to save the current scene overwriting the one that is listed up here? Or do I want to save as? Well, for me, being that it's a new scene, I can do either and it's going to be okay. But if I'm editing an existing scene and I want to create a new scene from those edits, I need to make sure that I'm choosing save as. 
All right, so go ahead and choose whatever save you need to do. For me, I'm gonna choose save as just to be safe. Um, and so I've got a folder here with scenes and then presets 2025. And then I'm gonna save my preset in here as um, whatever my naming scheme is. So for me, the naming scheme so far has been um, service element, colors, primary color scheme, and then um, is gobo included or is backlight included. Use whatever naming scheme is best for you. So for me, I'm just gonna call this one test because we're just testing it out. So I'm gonna hit save. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and head back over to our live screen. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna turn off DMX from here because I no longer need to send DMX from the editor. So I'm heading back over to live. Uh, let's choose the preset bin that I wanna make a new preset in. So I'm gonna to continue to use the presets 2025 and I'm gonna add a button. So um, in fact, I, why don't we do this? Let's make a new preset bin. So I'm gonna come over here and click this menu button. I'm gonna hit add page. This is gonna add a fresh page for us. I'm gonna call it uh, test page. So let's go ahead and type that in, test. Okay. All right, so now I have a blank page right here, ready for some buttons to be added. So I'm gonna come over here to the menu Let's find add steps scene. Now you'll remember in the editor, uh, the tabs that were here said steps, generator, and uh, I can't remember what the other one, I think pixels. So we made a scene in the steps mode. So that's what I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a steps scene right now. And here's the one we added, test. I'm gonna hit open and we have a giant button for test. And right now, if I click this, well, first of all, nothing's going to happen because I need to re-enable DMX over here. So now if I click this, it's going to toggle on, and I'm going to see that red with blue accent pop up right over here. All right, and if I click it again, it's going to toggle back off. So let's say that I want to add another button. Well, we're going to do the same thing over here, add step scene. Uh, I'll add in my video blue, pink, gobo scene that I made earlier. And now you can see that it has arranged it in this way. I'm gonna add another scene. Okay, let's do this one. I just wanna show you how to arrange these. So now we have all three of these in a row here. I'm gonna add one more. All right, so you'll see that these are arranged in like kind of this intricate way over here. Uh, you could continue adding them and it would create vertical bars like this, vertical buttons. But I wanna do this a little differently to make it organized a little better, easier for my volunteers to to see in a flash or in a, in, in the, on the fly. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna right click a button. I'm gonna say move button. So now it's saying, okay, this button is what we're selecting and the move button or the move menu, I'm gonna say, do I wanna move this up to the left, to the right or down, what do we wanna do? So I'm gonna go ahead and move it over. And so now you can see it has put it underneath the button that was next to it. All right, if I wanna move it up, I can move it up. Now it's over the button that was next to it. If I move it again over this way, see now it's under the center button. Uh, if I wanna move it again this way, now it's under that button. If I move it over this way one more, it'll put it off to the side of that button. And so you can use these move controls to move the scene anywhere you'd like to. It's somewhat unintuitive, but it does work. It does get the job done. Um, now you can also right click and change the button color uh, you can see here, it just gives you a color selector, change it wherever you want, hit apply. Uh, this is good, especially for people like me. I see colors and it helps me to, to know what I'm about to do to differentiate uh, this button from this button from this button. Uh, so anyways, use this. Uh, make sure to test your scenes. And if you would like to edit an existing scene and make a new scene out of it, you can right click, choose edit. And then it takes you right back to the live or to the editor in steps. But this time you'll see up here, you're editing the one from uh, the other scene. And so this time, whenever you make your edits and you want to make a new scene, make sure you hit save as, or if you'd like to overwrite the previous scene, in my case, it'd be the test scene, you would hit save scene right here. But that's it. I hope this was helpful. And uh, with this information, you should be able to use Show Express to create some lighting scenes for your church or event. Production Professor out.